so I want to talk about celibacy, priesthood. Um, I've been wanting to become a good person. I mean, I think majority of us do, but I think specifically what I'm trying to say is about, I've always wanted to be a priest. Well, a saint in general, just a good person in general. It doesn't necessarily have to be a priest. The problem is, is that I've been smitten by orgasm addiction since I was like 12, 13, and I've never overcome it ever. I'm 43 years old now. Nah, I think I got it down. I figured it out. That's why I'm making this video. Is that I, th I think I finally solved the puzzle. So it, I, since I've been wanting to be a priest in the 90s, I find it, you know, I find myself and trying to persuade others to become one because of my failure. You know, I wanted other to, others to be a priest because I failed becoming one. Why? Because I don't want to be a hypocrite. You know, I don't want to. If you see food crumbs on my teeth, excuse me. I just ate. I don't brush my teeth. I only brush my teeth once a week. Anyways, um, I didn't want to be a hypocrite. I didn't want to be a guy, one of those guys that you know end up in the news molesting i'm sorry caught with a hooker i didn't want to be tempted so if i want to become a priest i want to be real i don't want to end up seeing prostitute on the side trying to keep it secret or you know i want to have to figure out i want to understand the science of celibacy if i ever am trying to become a priest and i, I figured it out so now i've been alone i'm a truck over the road truck driver i've been driving geez for like 20 years 18 years <laughs> to be exact and this is not a choice you know you take what's available if there were any other job i would take it but i took the trucking because it was the only one hiring and the jobs that are locally i end up getting fired like every time i work for a boss i end up clashing heads with them and them firing because i got a lot of ego i have a lot of pride so trucking was the only job out there that was accepting me a prideful guy like me a solitary guy so i've been here since then and here's the thing about me becoming a celibate it is possible the longest i've got is four months 128 days without orgasm no wet dream no masturbation or sex and this year i went 90 days this year and i count i count all of it i like i said i try to understand the science of it that way it's calculated so if i ever become a priest i have it all figured out so i don't get tempted in the future we'll see so yes celibacy is possible priesthood is possible however there's gonna be uh requisites to get it done you need to be able to touch somebody let's just say i'm god i'm not god i don't even think i'm trying to say is that what if i i'm a leader of a church and it's my duty to establish laws for the church it will be the right thing to do for the priest to be celibate they have to be celibate why because you're you're a father of the entire a thousand families or a hundred families and if you're married you know you cannot because a woman needs a lot of attention you cannot give her that attention if you're, you're overseeing a thousand families yes not only celibacy is possible for priesthood it's actually a requirement not a what do you call that uh wishful thinking but a reality however there's a requisite and the requisite is you need to be able to touch so if you're a catholic priest or a, or somebody that wants to be celibate you need to be able to touch your parishioners on a you know, forehead when you bless them when you make a sign of the cross on your head you need to be able to touch somebody on their head on your shoulder on their shoulder or shake their hand in fact if you read the bible the new testament there's a lot of physical touch jesus did with his apostles why because i understand there's a science of it so if you're a priest if you want to be celibate you want to be a catholic priest you need to have you need it like a hundred you need to oversee a hundred families and you need to be able to bless them you need to be able to physically touch their head their shoulder or their hand so you could channel just because you have wireless it doesn't mean wired is useless they all have their own uses your hands is there for a reason you need to be able to touch their forehead their their shoulder and now let's talk about that so let me see how i got 128 days without orgasm i did it because i was able to physically um what do you call that relay all the stress with with strippers or with massage therapists so I was not alone. I was not fighting on my own. I had other people carry the torch for me. So now that I'm 43 years old and I'm very knowledgeable now about. So I, f I think I have, it, I have it all figured out now. I finally did. <laughs> you know, from 12 years old since I lost, since I discovered orgasm that really destroyed me, all the way to 43. It took me 31 years to figure this out. And so I'm broadcasting a video on how it can be done. And yes, it can be done. You can be a celibate. You can be a celibate person as long as you have. The environment for it if you have the job for it if you're overseeing 100 families you should be celebrating you should be and you need to be able to physically touch their forehead their shoulder and their hand so you could transmit your holiness now you know the mind is a seat of wisdom so in my truck i spent hours watching porn man so at the end of it all my touch is my touch is related to, to what's programmed into my head that's why i see a stripper because well that's that's the whole point they're, they're you know expecting that kind of environment there is a sexual environment however if you're a priest you're meditating the word of god your the word of god the holy spirit the holiness it's not it's not the spirit of the world it's not a sexual spirit it's the word of god so when you touch somebody in the forehead while you're meditating the word of god you're trans transmitting you're relaying the holy spirit so it's different it's different for somebody who watches porn the touch of somebody that watches porn all the time versus the touch of somebody that prays all the time is not the same these are different spirits different influence 
So yes, I just want to broadcast that. Celibacy is possible. In fact, it's a requirement if you're going to become a priest. However, you need to be able to touch somebody. And if you can't, you're, you're going you're gonna to die. You really are going to die. <laughs> so your body has a way of adapting. You know, there's people that weigh 1,000 pounds. I don't know how they got up that way, and they're still alive. Your body will probably find a way to adapt to your situation. But I would say by experience, as a lonely guy, I spent 18 years on the road, you're going to be in bad health if you're not able to touch somebody. You're going to be in a very bad condition because even prophets, even Jesus, even God himself has to touch somebody in his, in his missionary work. You should be able to as well if you're a priest. Thank you. That's all.